Hey, welcome back to Twins Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Razer Basilisk Mouse. Let's jam. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Twins Reviews video. Today we are taking care of the Razer Basilisk Gaming Mouse as we mentioned in the intro, but before that, I do want to say Roller Champions videos are on the way, montages, things like that. If you want to contact me about uh, any video ideas or clips, go ahead and contact me on my Discord, all links in the description. Now let's take a look at the mouse, it's got the useless manual that no one will read, and of course, the great, great stickers. I do very, very, very like them, they are uh, very, very nice. Now the packaging is great, uh, nothing too loose, everything is well packaged, uh, so no complaints there as well. Razor uh, doing the razor stuff. Uh, the wire is very long and it feels like nothing is there when you're playing, so pretty good. And it also has a little USB protection thing on it. Basically, the build quality of the mouse, as any razor product, is fantastic. The grips are great and I, I don't think they're ever falling off. There's a resistance wheel for the mouse that we'll mention in the vlog portion of the video. And there is the clutch with two additional pieces that come. Uh, in the box, there's a smaller clutch and one that removes the clutch. It's like a soft-ish material. I personally like the longer clutch, so I have like uh, more area to put my finger on. Uh, but you can experiment with it and see what works best for you. But that's basically it. I will leave it all to my future or past self uh, and uh, my brother to explain the rest of the mouse. The basilisk. Mm -hmm. I say basilic, like the Pokemon basilic. That's not a Pokemon. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. You want me to prove it yeah. to you? Okay. That's not a Pokemon. Gonna prove that's, it that's some bull. Basilic is a Pokemon. No, it's not. Basilic? No. Yeah, it is. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, go. All right, so the Razer Basilisk gaming mouse does have its selective audience. This is a two-year-old mouse, I believe, it came out uh, around two years ago. But is it still worth it for $40? For the audience that uh, plays a lot of FPS games, then I would say yes. Uh, this mouse is a great option. Uh, not only is it made by Razer, but it's also around $40, which isn't actually that expensive for a mouse. However, let's just go ahead and talk about the features of it real quick, and we'll get that out of the way. We need to show a little bit more emotion, because we got a comment that said that we're like <laughs> yeah. dead. So, you know, you need to like talk a little like, yeah, you know, yeah. be a little happier. Or pretend you're happier. So a key feature of this mouse is that you got your uh, your little uh, resistance knob on the back, and you can uh, basically change the I guess resistance of the wheel and how like fast or how slow it goes. It's a pretty cool feature. We can have a hear of it right now and see how how it uh, sounds. Yeah, a lot of a lot of mouses have like different variations of uh, this type of feature, but this one this one's pretty good. So let's say throw that in there. Another key feature and probably the biggest uh, reason why someone would look into this uh, into buying this mouse is the FPS or the sensitivity uh, control knob on the on the left side of the mouse. It's like where your thumb is. Uh, I know there's uh, some mice that have a button there, like my mouse. Uh, used to have a button there, but this one it's like a, it's like a trigger that you can push and You can make the sensitivity go down for example if you're like aiming in at a game uh, And you want the sensitivity to go down if you're like trying to snipe or something and you click that the sensitivity of the mouse will go uh, Lower or higher however you want to set it in the razor synapse which is the program that you get to optimize your mouse and whatever. You can change a lot of features there. We can have a look right now on the screen how it looks like. You can map uh, different keys to it and whatever. Uh, so it's pretty nice. It is gonna weigh around 370 megabytes. Uh, and this is without Razer Chroma, which controls your RGB lighting on the mouse. Uh, so that is also gonna be an additional 
uh, X amount of uh, megabytes. Also pretty, pretty hefty software if I do say so myself. But also that trigger allows you to have, uh, to map uh, more keys if you hold it for example and click with your left mouse, you can map that to be different from the actual key, from the actual click. So that basically doubles the amount of buttons you have on your on your mouse. However, that definitely doesn't substitute uh, mice that have like buttons, a lot of buttons on the side or something. It's not gonna get you those features. So if you're like a MMORPG player, this mouse is probably not for you. All right, so the max DPI for this mouse is 16,000. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a sensitivity measurement of how sensitive the, the mouse is. So the mouse also has five different sensitivity options that you can control with the two buttons at the top, pretty standard stuff. You can customize the DPIs on every level uh, in the Razer Synapse program, and if you really don't want it, you can actually uh, optimize the mouse and change all the settings and then uninstall Razer Synapse so you don't uh, waste any extra space, but then that will obviously limit you from editing uh, things in the future unless you decide to reinstall it. But other than that, the mouse is pretty great. It feels nice. All of the grips on the side aren't really loosely um, made. Like I had a couple of mice that um, the grips on the side kind of fell off because they were kind of trash. Uh, but on this one, it looks like everything is fine for the amount of times I've been using it. The build quality is great. Overall, uh, the mouse is about probably about medium size. It's not too small, but also not too large. And basically has all the regular mouse settings. Yeah, so a thing about this mouse is that it is medium kind of size. So if you have like bigger hands, it'll probably not be a mouse for you. Like for me, it's, uh, my hands are on the bigger side. So I don't know if personally, it's, it feels a little too small for me, but it could, uh, it could work for you. But basically, um, if you are looking for a mouse uh, that has some regular functions plus some add-ons like the trigger, uh, if you need an extra button, which you can actually also replace, you can remove it or have a smaller trigger. If you're looking for something like that, then this mouse is something you should look into, especially if you play a lot of FPS uh, shooter games, first person shooter games, if you play a lot of those, uh, then maybe this is something that you should look into. But if you like to map a bunch of buttons to uh, uh, to your mouse, this obviously isn't the choice for you. Uh, you can find something way better for $40. Uh, but it is Razer, it is a good build, it is pretty great, so FPS people, I definitely think that um, this should be something that you look uh, that you should look into. All right guys, so this will be all for this short review. Hopefully we didn't keep you here too long. If you have any questions or feel like we missed something, please go ahead and drop it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click like on the video, share the video, get that little notification bell going because YouTube does not like to send out notifications. And of course, check out our blog page in the description. Uh, if you do wanna purchase this product, we've linked an Amazon link to it. The cheapest, best, most affordable, link to it down below. Uh, this mouse used to be $60, but it's now 40. So now it's, it's more affordable than ever. So if you do want it, you can purchase it directly from there. And yeah, guys, that's it. See ya.